Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about DNA replication and how it differs in prokaryotes versus eukaryotes. Remember that prokaryotes are the cell types that we're talking about when we're talking um, about bacteria most often, whereas eukaryotes are things like animals, plants, fungi, um, eukaryotic parasites, algae, things like that. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the rate of replication. Prokaryotes replicate their DNA at a much faster rate. So at a much faster rate, they're replicating it at a rate of like 1,000 nucleotides per second. Remember that nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA, whereas eukaryotes are going more on an average rate of like 100 nucleotides per second. This means that prokaryotes um, on average can replicate their entire genome in less than an hour often, um, whereas eukaryotes, it can take a few days. So that can really make a big difference. And you might say, why? Why are prokaryotes so much faster? A lot of it has to do with the fact that they do less DNA proofreading. In other words, prokaryotes spend less time double checking to make sure that their DNA was replicated faithfully, which means that they do also have higher mutation rates than eukaryotic cells. The average eukaryotic cell also has a lot more DNA. Uh, on average, it's about 25 times more DNA. There's obviously a lot of variation between the amount of DNA in a eukaryotic cell in various eukaryotic cells and in various prokaryotic cells. Um, different species are going to have different amounts of DNA, but this is an average. So this is also something that will slow down eukaryotic replication when there's just that much more DNA to replicate. Prokaryotes also typically have a single chromosome and it is almost always circular. So it's one circular chromosome in a prokaryotic cell. And they might also have one or more circular plasmids. Plasmids are extra chromosomal, meaning they're not part of the actual chromosome. Um, and there can be one or more in a cell or none in a cell if they've just got their chromosome. Um, plasmids are especially well known for carrying things like genes for toxins and genes for antibiotic. Uh, resistance and genes for other kinds of virulence factors. On the other hand, eukaryotes have multiple chromosomes and they tend to be linear. Now there are a couple of examples of prokaryotes that do have linear chromosomes. The most notable one is probably Borrelia burgdorferi, which causes Lyme disease. Um, the bacterium Streptomyces griseus also has linear chromosomes. That's where streptomycin, the antibiotic, was first uh, identified. Um, but almost always, prokaryotes are circular chromosomes, eukaryotes are linear chromosomes. Eukaryotic DNA is also associated with proteins known as histones. So remember that eukaryotes have a lot more DNA in their cell and it's packaged away into the nucleus where it's associated with these histone proteins that essentially help to organize it. So the DNA gets wrapped around these histones in this highly organized fashion that just kind of helps the cell keep track of all of its DNA and keep everything in the right place in a very organized way. Um, prokaryotes, on the other hand, do not have those histone proteins. Replication also of the DNA occurs in some different compartments. So in eukaryotes, it's going to be done in the nucleus. So the nucleus is where the DNA is stored and it's also where it's replicated. On the other hand, with prokaryotes, DNA replication happens in the cytoplasm. This is because prokaryotes do not have a nucleus. So their uh, chromosome is just hanging out in the cytoplasm. Prokaryotes also have one origin of replication. 
The origin of replication is literally where the replication begins on the chromosome. So the point where the replication process begins. And there's just one per circular chromosome in those prokaryotes. However, eukaryotes tend to have many origins of replication. So multiple origins of replication um, per chromosome. And remember that eukaryotes already have multiple chromosomes and there's multiple origins of replication per chromosome. So it's quite a lot of places where replication starts. Um, the enzyme telomerase is also only present in eukaryotes. And that's because with these linear chromosomes, um, it there are some issues with replicating the ends of the chromosomes so that every single time that the cell divides, the ends of the chromosomes get a little bit shorter. You can see how that would be a problem because with multiple um, replications, you would be losing more and more of the chromosome. And so there's this enzyme called telomerase, which basically puts these um, kind of caps or ends onto the ends of the chromosomes just to help them be a little bit longer, help protect them. These are called telomeres. So eukaryotes have telomeres and they have the enzyme telomerase to make the telomeres. Um, whereas prokaryotes, um, they don't have telomeres. Remember that they have this single circular chromosome. They don't have ends to their chromosome. Uh, and so they don't need telomeres. Now, you might remember I told you that there are a couple of exceptions where some prokaryotes have linear uh, DNA. In those prokaryotes, there is some kind of telomeric structure, but how it gets replicated at this point, not a lot is really known about that. Um, but the telomerase enzyme is, is associated just with those eukaryotic cells. <clears throat> DNA replication also occurs almost continually in prokaryotes. Bacteria, um, they're almost constantly dividing. As long as there's enough sort of nutrients and as long as the environment is favorable, um, they're going to be dividing pretty much continually. In fact, some bacteria like E. coli, they can even start the next cell division before the current cell division ends. And what I mean by that is before a cell division process even ends, the, the two cells that haven't even fully separated yet they can already be replicating their DNA and getting ready for the next replication cycle. So DNA replication happening basically all the time in prokaryotes. In eukaryotes, however, DNA replication is confined to a very specific part of the cell cycle known as S phase, where S stands for synthesis. Um, and this is overall kind of relatively um, a, a, sm a smaller part of how the cell spends its time for most eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes also only have one or maybe two types of DNA polymerase. Polymerases being the enzymes that replicate the DNA, whereas most eukaryotes actually have four or more uh, DNA polymerases that carry out um, sort of slightly different functions and replicate in different places in the eukaryotic genome. So this um, sort of concludes our discussion of DNA replication in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. I have some other videos that you might be interested in checking out. One will be talking about these histone proteins. I've got a, a video on histones and DNA packing that you might be interested in. Also, we talked about quite a bit of um, enzymes today, things like telomerase and polymerase. So you might check out my video on introduction to enzymes. Uh, and that is it for today. Thanks for watching Biology Professor.